and welcome back to the library. So glad you're here. Come on in. Come on in, have a seat. Welcome back to the library. I am so glad y'all are here. So as you can tell, the library is still here. The books are still here. They have been waiting patiently for you to come back and I am so glad that you are here. Now here is where we have our nonfiction books. Nonfiction means real and true facts about things, whether it's facts about dinosaurs, rocket ships, monsters, plants, cats, people. This is where you'll find it in the nonfiction section. And it starts from the fire extinguisher all the way along this wall, all the way along this wall, and all the way along our back wall up to where the pyramid is, okay? If you can't find what you're looking for, you'll want to look for these shelf labels. These will help you guide your way to where things are. And once again, you always want to check for your AR star. If the book does not have an AR star, that means the book does not have a quiz. All right, why don't you grab a donut? Come on over, have a seat. All right, so now we're over here in the reading corner and I do wanna show you over here, these are our easy reader books. They are sorted by their star color and you will see the stars all along the sides of the bookshelf. So you definitely wanna make sure you are checking for your AR star color. The books that are on top, these are our series. So they're gonna be a mix of different ARs, okay? You just need to pay attention to what you are looking for. Over here, this is the start of our chapter books, okay? So if you've gone past all of these books and you're ready to move on over, this is where they are. These are some great series in here. This is also where our holiday books are. So this is where you want to look for your holiday books. All right, now that we're done over here, let's put your donut away. All right, this is where we have our chapter book where it says fiction. A to C. The reason why it says A to C is we alphabetize the chapter books by the author's last name. Not like the easy readers where they are sorted by their AR star color. These are sorted by the author's last name. So if you are looking for a specific book, you need to know the author's last name. And this is where they start. I've got some popular books over here. And on top of the bookshelves, I also have the uh, ever popular graphic novels. Inside the bookshelves are lots of series and you'll see on the fronts of the bookshelves some pictures showing you exactly what is in the bookshelves. All right, so I'm ready to check out books. I have my old book here that I'm ready to return because I finished reading it and I quizzed on it and I got 100%. So here we go, I'm walking around the outside of the library. I put the book up on the return book cart. I walk over to my new hand sanitizing station I get my hand sanitized. If I'm in one of those grades where I have story time first, I'm gonna head over to grab a donut and sit in front of the chair. If I'm one of those grades that checks out books first, I'm gonna grab myself a ruler and I'm ready to check out books. All right, so I have found my new book. So the first thing I wanna do is put my ruler back into the basket. And then I go grab my old book off the cart. I'm gonna take both my books and go stand in line. Just wait until it's my turn to go up to the desk. Hey everybody, right now I wanna show you how to use your paws while using the ruler, the shelf holder, the place marker, whatever you wanna call it. We use this to mark our place on the bookshelf. So we put it in, we pull the book out that we wanna look at. If it's not the right book for us, the marker shows us exactly where the book was so we can put it back in its exact spot for the next kid to find that book. So while we are using these, a couple things we need to keep in the back of our heads. This is just a piece of plastic. It doesn't matter what color it is. You don't have to hold up the line to make sure you have the same color as your bestie. All you have to remember is that, yes, today I'm using the green ruler. It's literally a piece of plastic. So when we are walking around the library, we do not want to be walking going like this. We do not want to be standing around doing one of these things. Hey, Miss Tracy, I don't know. Where did you get that book? I got it over there. We don't want to do that. And while we're using this in our bookshelf, when we go to pull it out, you do not want to yank it out really hard. You don't want to shove it in really hard. 
This is just a piece of plastic. It is a tool like a pencil. We need to pay attention to how we're using our rulers here in the library. Now it's time to look for books on the bookshelf. Here we have our ruler and we're gonna use two hands. You have two hands for a reason and it's to look for library books because you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. It doesn't work. So you take your hands, you separate out the books, you put the ruler on the shelf. You can hold the ruler on the shelf while you pull out the book to make sure it's there saving your spot. So this is the front of the book, this is the back of the book. This is the spine of the book. This is the part that stares out at you from the bookshelf, okay? It's super important. Here's our AR star, stars high to the sky. We don't want falling stars. So you need to pay attention when you're putting the book back on the bookshelf, stars high to the sky. I like to take my hand and put it against the spine of the book. So I'm holding the book. I use my other hand to separate out the books again so I can put it back on the bookshelf and then I pull out the ruler and I try again. So it's very important when we put the ruler in there, then we pull out the book, okay? We wanna make sure we do not put the book back with falling stars. We also wanna make sure that when we put the book back on the shelf, we do not make it invisible. An invisible book means you cannot see the AR star. It is super important that we get to see what the title of the book is and what AR level it is. Some of you may notice that there's no AR stars on these books. These books have orange circles. This means that these books are the lowest level we have, 0.0, .0 to 0 0.9. They're in with the orange star section, but you'll see there is an orange circle on the bookshelf and an orange circle on the book. Well, some of you now see that there is an AR star in this book, but there's also a piece of colored tape. During COVID lockdown, while I was here in the library by myself, I tried to level the library books a little differently. We already have AR, but iReady uses Lexile reading levels. So I started to Lexile the book. That's what these bits of colored tape are for. Please do not take them off the book. You need to leave them there. All right, so now you're ready to look at the book that you've pulled off the shelf. You know that you are an orange circle, so you've picked out a book that has an orange circle, but you also wanna check the back of the book on the AR label to make sure you are getting the correct AR level. So it's written right here. It'll say reading level or RL or book level or BL. This one is a 0 0.9, so you have to match that up with the card that your teacher gave you so you know you're reading at the right level. The sticker will also tell you how many points it's worth. This one is a half point, 0 0.5. It'll also tell you the quiz number. So when you're done finishing it and you're ready to give it 100%, you can take your quiz on it. Well, you may have noticed some new things here in the library and one of them is our new seating. We did get rid of the pods and we've got these brand new fidget spinners. I think they are pretty cool. You can sit all the way around one blade of the fidget spinner and they're kind of neat. And in the center, we have the books for those of you who forgot to bring your library book back. You can read any of those books in the tub. So I really hope you like these seats as much as I do. So please remember here in the library, we want it to be a nice, quiet, safe place for everybody, whether they're checking out books or they're sitting and reading or they're doing their homework. So when you're in the library, please keep your voices at a soft marshmallow whisper voice. If you need to ask your teacher a question, walk up to them to ask a question. Don't just raise your hand and shout out. If you need to talk to me, walk over to me to ask me what you need. Please keep it a nice, quiet, safe place and everybody can enjoy the library. So welcome back to the Parkview Library, the coolest place on campus, if I do say so myself. I cannot wait to see you in person. The books have missed you. I have missed you. So let's remember to show our paws and have a awesome year in the library.